Let's try some Cambodian balut. Actually, it costs eight USD dollars. Very cheap. Quick check, can you hear the background noise? There is like a legit beer garden and an eatery with karaoke right across from my house. Literally what, like two minute walk. This is, <laughs> this is how the sound travels, like through the neighborhood pretty much. Anyway, just a quick recap of my day. Today is probably the most street food packed day ever since I've arrived here like a week ago. I start off with a big noodles breakfast, a brunch, I would say because it, it happened at 11 a.m. Had a haircut, how do I look? It's a bit weird because my hair always stands up when, when it's really short, like, you know, this one. It only cost me three USD dollars to get this. Amazing, right? Three USD, just for... 0.5 Australian dollars after that I went home and took a nap and then after that I went to a Buddhist temple to to ask for some blessing because you know in Cambodia if, if you go on a long journey um, in my culture in general you you go to the monk or you go to your parents for a blessing um, we call it Srauta. one of the easiest explanation that I could give you is that when a monk or your elders pour down some cold water from top of your head down to um, your toe it's supposed to wash all the bad luck and and the bad energy or the negativity away from you so then when you go travel you only like you know meet all the positive energy and and get all the positivity all the bad luck where we will stay away so that is the idea pretty much so the background noise is so annoying since my parents are all in australia i am traveling through southeast asia right after this i will stay in bangkok for one night and in singapore for another night so it's a long journey in general and and this is like the beginning of the year that's why i go to the buddhist monk the temple for for a blessing and yeah i did that and um i gave some donation to to the monk and the temple and then he gave blessing and then you know poured down the, the water for me um it was so lovely that was my very first time as well being in that particular buddhist temple um so after that I went out to eat some um, Cambodian street food with my cousin and we had this um, charcoal grilled beef with some balut that is the number one street food in Cambodia so if you ever been here go and check it out it's fantastic okay we have some beef heart and liver oh look at these they look amazing like normally they serve with this cup and this food. And we eat it with this herb. You sip the broth first. Yum. Mm. Yum, yum. And I'll show you if you could see. That is pickle, sweet garlic, and chili. And here's some salt and pepper lime. Okay, now I have to do some Instagram shot for my sister because she is pregnant and she really wants this. Like, look. Mm. 
Mm. Nice. So you eat it with the pickled papaya and cucumber and some sauce and some chili jam. With the bread and Cambodian butter. Oh, look at this. I need to stop vlogging now, otherwise I cannot eat properly. Guess what? We just finished the whole thing. I think we had 10 skews and 3 balots. One piece of bread. And yeah, the leftover is for takeaway. But yeah, the whole thing cost 32,000 real, which is under $10. I don't, I don't even know where it's at. Eight, actually it cost 8 USD dollars. Very cheap. So I went to the same place for years and years and years. It's maybe more than 20 years now. I remember like I was like 7 or 8 or something when I had my first, you know, um, food at their place. And the same family still operating the same business over there. Their beef skew was like this big, but now it has this big. It used to be like 300 real, which is around, oh, it's like 10 cent US dollars, less than that. And now it's 2,500 real, which is around, how much is that? 50, 60, 60, 70 cent USD for one skew. It's still very cheap. Um, I, I love it so much. Same recipe, same taste. And my, um, my sister is pregnant at the moment and she was like, bro, takes a lot of photo, takes a lot of videos, so I can enjoy it. I'm through you and I was like no I have to complete my duty before I eat so I did all of that um so after that I went to a cafe shop to catch up with my old friend she was so busy she worked at the bank right and bank normally close at five in Cambodia so after her work we had a chat for like about an hour or so um you know I gave her a gift she gave me a gift so after that truly it was truly lovely to see her she's doing really well for herself and um, I come back home. Um, currently, it's like nearly 6:30 p.m. I got. I have to pack, like casually packing, because I'm leaving Cambodia in two days. Unbelievable! I wish I had more time. I normally, I stay here like for a month or two weeks at the bare minimum. I stay here for like 10 days, not even, and I'm leaving in two days. Such a sad, sad things to 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 think about. But at least I got to see my auntie, my cousins, my uncles, all my friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed my vlog for today. Thank you very much. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my other vlogs. And yeah, thank you. See you guys next time. Have a good day.